So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to get the expression tree from the postfix expression. Already we have discussed how to get the expression tree from any prefix expression or any prefix notation we already discussed in the previous video. So now uh, we will derive expression tree from postfix. And we know that expression tree is a special binary tree. And we can derive this kind of binary tree with only one one uh, traversal method. Normally, in general, uh, binary trees to be constructed when we are aware of two, at least two traversals. So if we have pre-order traversal, we have in-order traversal, or we have post-order traversal, or in-order traversal, we can derive our binary tree. But this is a special uh, binary tree, means the expression tree, uh, that can be derived by using only one uh, traversing. So here, when I say postfix uh, notation, this is basically a post order traversal. So with the help of only one uh, traversal, we can also drive our expression tree. So on the screen, you can see one uh, expression tree is given to us. And for this expression tree, we are given our postfix notation. Now in this video, we are going to learn that out of this postfix expression, how you can come up with this expression tree. So let's uh, practice with an example. Okay, so this is uh, the postfix notation that is given to us and we are interested to drive the expression tree for this postfix notation. And quickly, let us review that for every uh, notation, postfix notation or prefix notation, we can come up with a unique expression tree. Okay, so like in the prefix notation, we started from left to right because uh, in the prefix, all the operators appears at the beginning. Here, the operators appears at the last. So we will go from right to left. And whenever we come across any operator, we search for its operand. So we start from right to left. We are uh, we are getting this modulus operator, which is an operator. So every operator will search for the left operand and the right operand. And if the operand itself is an operator or an expression, we keep on moving in this way. Once you get the operand, we will return. So let us understand by doing the example. So we start with this uh, operator. So this is our first symbol, which is operator itself. Now, in the case of prefix, in the case of prefix, whenever we come across any operator, we look for the left operand and the right operand. But in the case of postfix, Whenever we get an operator, we first look for the right operand and then the left operand. So we are doing the same thing, but in a reverse way. So we come across the operator, we look for the right operand and the left operand. So we start with the right operand. So here we come across with this symbol division. Now this is itself a kind of operator. So whenever you, we come across operator, we keep on expanding, we keep on searching for its operand. So we come across the right. So this becomes a right operand for this operator, but this operand itself is an operator. So we keep searching for its operand. So operand is a constant or a variable. So once you come up with any such element that is a constant or a variable, that means we have come up, we got the operand and we have to stop. So i is a variable here we get the right operand so now we look for the left operand here so the next we find is h now here we are going from left to right so we are reading h so h is also an operand so this expression is complete this expression is complete that means we are done with the right operand for this for this division operator now we will look for the left operand so we keep on moving in this way. So after H, we come across this symbol power. So then we are looking for the right operand. We come with G. And then we comes with, uh, so this is an operand. So we just return and then go for finding the left, which is F here. Now we are done with this. So we for this particular operator we have we have uh, find the left operand and the right operand. So we have actually complete this entire structure with the operands and operator. So now we'll uh, we'll go back and we are here. 
at this node. Now we are done with the right operands. Now we'll search for the left operand for this operator modulus. So we find minus sign, which is still uh, operator. We go and search for uh, operands. We will find multiply sign, which is again an operator. We search for uh, further. So and now I'm going, this is actually right, okay? So we have a less space here, so I'm going to make it here itself. Then D, and then the next, because the right operand we have find out, we come up with the C, and then this right is done. We go for the left. So here we find plus, and then we find B, and then we find here A. So this is a plus b then minus c into d and then this and you will find that this uh, expression tree that we derived is actually the same which is shown here so this is the actual expression tree for this particular postfix expression and we also come up with the same structure because for every postfix notation we have a unique structure so uh, i i hope that you understood that how to construct a expression tree um, by using any postfix notation so that's all for this video I'll see you in another video. Thank you very much.